Hello everyone and welcome back to Pikmin 4. Oh yeah. It's a beautiful game. It's a beautiful morning to get started here on day 9. In the last one, uh, we started working on a new area. Day 7 and 8 were dedicated to checking out the new area. We finally started working on it. And, uh, you know, mostly what we were doing we were setting up a bunch of paths, but we did do a couple of dungeons and or challenge little, you know, rooms or whatever. Saved a couple of people here and there. Um, after day eight, we have not gone around here and talked to people who have anything new to say. First of all, I do have three pup points, so we can start here and train my puppy. Improve your abilities just a little each day. In time, it'll add up and you'll be stunned. Stunned, I say! Alright, well, three points should be enough to level up something. Also... I've been watching you two progress, and you've inspired me to create a new training course. You see, when you're plucking Pikmin Sprouts, I believe Ochi can help if he learns to pluck. Oh, snap! He can help with plucking? Absolutely. I've also added some training to beef up his dig skills so he can dig faster than ever. Okay. Digging is nice, but I feel like learning to pluck will be even more helpful because... I mean, why wouldn't you want him to help you pluck? That sounds like a, be a beautiful thing to have. Uh, my only question is, should I keep going? Or should I s get... I mean, I only need one point to spend on these. And I now I'm stuck using it on one or the other. Because I just used one and I only had three. So, I'm going to go ahead and put one into pluck and one into dig. That sounds like a plan. Speed that boy up. Make him pluck faster. Make him dig faster. He, him being able to dig faster will be nice. He'll be as good as all the yellow Pikmin are when they dig. Ooh, and we got three scrummy bones for learning three things. Hell yeah. Alright. Next up, let's talk to Mr. Rus. I've created a new item. Well, I've developed a prototype with the materials I had on hand. You have to come see for yourself. Well, let's see what it is. <laughs> Alright, so what's the new one? I already had this one on the list before... Homesick signal? When your Pikmin go missing, call them back to the SS Beagle. Oh, okay. This is actually even cooler than the other one, I think. So you can have them all go back to the base. That's nice. This one is so you don't freeze. Gotcha. Freeze defense. And then this one is preventing you from being blown away or sucked up. Ooh, this sounds awesome. I have 120 materials available. I might go ahead and spend a good chunk of that on something. I don't know what to put it on. This is just making me get less damage in general. Man, there's so much good stuff here. Uh Can summon them with this. So this is just makes it a bigger whistle to summon everybody who's done i don't know if i want to do that it's cool but it's not something i feel like i need right now i'd probably rather just have this this feels like something we're gonna want should i want all of it really we have to grind out a bunch of materials if i want to learn all this stuff or unlock all this stuff um man i'm having a hard time deciding i will start by grabbing the brace boots i've made my choice that's where i start I'm not going to spend all of my things, because I may or may not have to use some of them, but let's make sure we collect any that we find as we go. What, uh, I don't know why you still say new, but that's fine. I don't need to talk to you. I might need to talk to you, though. I did get enough treasures to get the next level of this. Oh, you've collected quite an impressive trove of goodies. It's humbling, really. It isn't much, but please accept this. That's exactly what I wanted. 50 more. I might actually go up or buy another in, uh, upgrade thing, maybe. 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 Please, if you let me appraise as many goodies as possible, I tell you, I'm always excited to lay eyes upon a new treasure. Hell yeah. Alright, so once we get to a hundo, we'll get another uh, threshold of, or another tier of that done. Also, what up, DJ? Welcome in, and thank you for popping in to say hi before you go into lurk mode for the day. Hopefully you have a good work day, sir. Don't mind me have i already talked to this guy i know i looked over here for a second and and mentioned that this is definitely the dolphin olimar ship ss dolphin but did i, did I talk to you francois this was the last person we saved that we were able to identify apparently he's a botany specialist it's such a pleasure to speak with you i am francois a botany specialist and enthusiast are you a plant lover too for years i've been working on two-way communication between plants and well us i think pikmin might be the key Okay. 
kindness. That's why I love plants and Pikmin. They're kind. They listen when you talk and accept you, whoever you are. Who wouldn't want a friend like that? There'd be so much less sadness in this world if everyone could befriend a Pikmin. Ooh, yeah. For the good of civilization, we must propagate more Pikmin. W help me with this task for the to for a token of my thanks. Jesus. We gotta make the Pikmin population 300? Or I have to increase it by 300? I suppose that will happen over time naturally, but holy moly. Alright. At least I have reason to just keep on multiplying and not just stop. Because I have, I feel like I have enough Pikmin. We just gotta keep growing it. For the, for the sake of civilization, we must grow the Pikmin population. Um, I am going to go ahead and buy another thing. I'm going to buy one of the things that's only 40. I don't care which one. I'm just going to buy one that's 40. Doesn't matter which, or 40, 40 or 50, I guess. I guess I'll buy the air armor for my suit. That's what I will buy. That's what I will buy. I was like, I just want to spend something that's about 40 or 50, because I just got an extra 40 or 50 from that quest. Why does he still say new? It's just because of the new stuff that he... He can make for me? Is that all the reason it says new? Oh, he, yes, because there's a new item on the list over there, dumbass. I keep forgetting there's two menus here. Alright, so I can make mines now. Okay, cool. Oh, shit. You know what I just realized? First of all, we can make a mine. It's a bomb that explodes at a text up motion. Plus, it's kind of sticky. Try attaching one to a creature. Oh, you can attach it to a creature. I see. And then what? It just blows up over time? Because they move around. That looks like a yes. That looks awesome, actually. Okay. Um, here's a question. How much bombs does it take to blow up these walls? Is it just one? Nah, see, it's going to take more than one. So, I, I ran into one of these walls on the level as well. And we're going to need bombs. So, I'm actually going to grab two of these. So, I have enough to blow up that one wall. I'm hoping it doesn't take more than three. But we're going to find out on this day, because I'm probably going to try that out. i got to remember how to use items, because I don't really remember, but we'll figure it out. Uh, okay, on that note, I think we're ready. Let's get on to the next day, shall we? Or we're already on the day. Let's go take... Let's go seize the day. Oh, right, and we also unlocked a new area at the end of last session, but I don't think I'm going to go there quite yet. But it might be where Captain Olimar and our rescue officers are. Maybe. But there's still a chance they're in this second area, too. We haven't explored it fully. But anyway, let's see what the third area is going to be called. It's called Serene Shores. Ooh, okay. So the other big things we unlocked last time, we did unlock Blue Pikmin finally. And we also got 100% on Sun Speckled Terrace, so this place is done. And I'm hoping to do the same here in Blossoming Arcadia, so let's get to it, boys and girls! Skip this, we know the animation, let's get to it. It's bad enough we got to wait for these loading screens. It's probably my only real uh, complaint about the game so far overall is just these loading screens are atrocious. The areas are beautiful and I understand they take time to load. But you think with these little cartridges, loading wouldn't be such a big deal. But I guess Tears of the Kingdom had long loading when you start up the game and then it was fine for the rest of the game. Had its moments. Just further proof that the Switch is an underpowered system that seriously needs an upgrade and uh, well... We may or may not be getting a Switch 2 in the next year or so, but we'll see. Alright, so what are we doing? I don't even know what I want to start off with here. Um, I wanted to look at the, the map. Okay, there's so much to do here. Uh, okay, so I unlocked... Did I unlock this shortcut? I want to say I did not because there was a bridge over here I needed to build, I think. Or I did build this bridge. Oh, no, you know what? I did build this bridge because here's the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I opened this up. I opened this up. Here's the wall I needed to blow up. That's what I wanted to look at. So there's a wall here to blow up. Um. Yeah, okay. Just double-checking what I want to do right now. This area is really not that big now that I look at the whole map. It's really not huge, which is good. Um... Okay, so I might just start by going down over here and grabbing the stuff over here and blowing up this wall and doing that. I think I'm going to start with that. Since it's nearby where we're at, I want to do that first. Sounds like a plan. Okay, so I want to bring red Pikmin. Like 20 of y'all. 20 yellows. 
Maybe like 10 blue. Conserve our ice Pikmin unless we absolutely need them. Because we can't multiply them right now. <clears throat> Alright. Let's go for a ride, y'all. So I gotta remember how to use my bombs. That's my first thought. I'll do that in just a second after we get some collection done here. So yeah, let's get these cherries. They are a collectible that we need. I throw enough? Apparently I did not. Alright. All those bodies getting collected. Now, how do I throw a freaking bomb? Not like that. Is it with the Y button? I go to pack. And then I choose bomb. And then I throw it. Haha! -ha, I did it! Okay. Success! It's going to be another one of these. Oh, this is going to be one of those ones where I, it's a Dondori challenge. Alright, so I blew up the wall. Good stuff. Now, I used all three of my bombs, unfortunately, but it is what it is. So it's going to be one of those Dondori challenges. That's cool. I want all the materials, man. I think I'm gonna go in there and do the Dandori challenge right away. I'm not gonna waste time walking around first. All right, everybody's here. Everybody's accounted for. Let's get to this challenge. And then after I do the challenge, I'm gonna go up there and get what I need to get up there. Cause there's definitely gonna be a boss fight or some big, big creature fight up there for sure. But first, these leaflings—they really are all over the place, huh? Indeed, they are. Today, we Dandori. Tomorrow, we Dandori more. Let's see what you're made of, newbie. Show off your Dandori skills and go rescue them. Hell yeah, that's what I'm gonna do, baby. That's what I'm gonna do! Alright, we're not going... Yeah, alright. Oh, Every Pikmin... We're not... We're not able to take our own Pikmin in there, this, these challenge ones. I forgot. We have to use the ones provided. Right. All right, level two, Hot Shot Canyon. Here we go. All right, the goal here is to be quick, swift, and nimble, and go crazy when you hear a symbol. So we must be quick. Here, we test Dandori. I love Dandori. You love Dandori? I, of course I do. Why? How could I not? All right, let's get started. Uh, go, go, go. Kill all. Murder all. Get all. What? Oh, I sent the dog after him. I was like, what did I just do? Okay. So I can work on this gold. We might be pulling these fools. Yo, and the doggo helps us. This saves us all the time, which is awesome. Alright, then y'all can get the rest of this. Meanwhile, I'm gonna do a little bit of Boom! And then get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Let me rush, 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 rush. Yeah, let the Pikmin handle collecting everything. All right, red. Oh God! I did not mean to do that. Okay, red Pikmin needed for that. Wait until they all collect that shit. Alright, I don't need those. I just need the red to get rid of this guy. Alright, meanwhile, y'all can get this. There you go. Collect the body, collect the thing. You guys are great. You guys are awesome. Go red Pikmin, you're the best. Okay, what's over here? Oh, we got some yellow boys to take down. Alright, um, I'd like to have some more yellow boys to take those down. Get off of there. Go pull that. Okay, so far we're doing good, I think. Feels like. Alright, waiting for this pretzel to get 
reacquainted. Hey, what's up, Sparty? Welcome in. How you doing? Alright, get the red ones to break that. I do have ten yellows. I might just go for it. Alright, watch out. Just keep the yellows. Keep the yellows close. Once he flips, he's done, son. Alright. All right, we need some more Pikmin. Quick! More picky mins. Pick those men. I do have a path, right? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. Got all these bread boys back. Let's get this eclair, or I guess donut bar. Yo, Dad Dory goes well, he says. Does it, though? I don't have any yellows on me right now. It's okay though. Ah! Crap, dude! That's what I was trying to do. There we go. All right. Break all these mushies. If I run into it, will it go down faster? I don't even know. Anyway, more Pikmin, please. <clears throat> more alien corralling, as Garzonis likes to call it. What's up, Garzonis? How you doing? Let me make sure we murder all the things. Right now, murdering all the things is kind of priority. Alright, let's get all more Pikmin regathered here. Because we got a lot more to get. So, let's get to it. Make sure you collect all the things. Alright. Keep digging. Y'all can dig that up. One there, one there. Alright. Oh, oh, these are just... Nectar! Should be throwing reds. Should be throwing reds. <clears throat> Alright. Okay, ten on that. Y'all gotta start getting this. Alright, so I need to get some yellows over here to break that down. Got it. Anyway, you're doing quite good. Putting uh, your new gamepad to use. That's cool. Finished Demon Souls and you started Dark Souls. Dope. Um, I've actually been working on a Dark Souls 3 playthrough myself. Lately. And it's going pretty well, I would say. Kind of hoping this will break quickly so I can get these, get this waffle and this jar of whatever going quick, quick, quick. I'm down to the last minute. I got the bronze medal. That's cool. Crap. I don't have, t I don't have 12. Shit. Shit. That was only 11. Or, I have one on me still, but I don't have 12. I need to get another one over here. Ah, uh, come here, bitches. I need you. Oh, it was enough. Never mind. I threw enough up there. I lied. Okay. Fine. At least now we have enough to get that too. I have one minute left to get the last of this shit. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. How do I get up here? Oh, does the doggo have to go up there? That's interesting. Alright, well... Can't go up that ledge. Shit. Not without the dog. I don't think I'm going to make it. I think I'm going to be short by just this one item. Or whatever's up here. What is up here anyways? Hold on. Oh, I beat the goal. What the hell was up there then? 
What the fuck was that up there? What did I just miss at? I'm unclear. But whatever. Whatever it was, we did it. I cleared it. Never mind. We're good. We're good. I ain't mad at it. We completed it. Bitchin'. Alright, so Scarzona said he's never played any of the Souls like games before because you know mouse and keyboard would be a disaster. In fact, before my stream of Demon Souls, I thought that it was some spin off of Dark Souls rather than the original Souls like game. Well, now you know. Now you know. And, uh, yeah. Even the people who make Dark Souls tell you you should use a controller, regardless of the fact that it's on PC also. Incredible Dandori, it's shocking that you beat the record. Take these 30 pieces of raw material. Absolutely awesome. And also, we're going to collect that bitch. You you did it. Come on. Let's get the castaway out of here, Funky G. Another mother effer saved. Yeah. I have to carry him back to the base, but another mother effer saved for sure. So I think I'm going to grab 50 reds. And I'm going to go check out what the hell's going on in this upper area. Sounds like a plan to me. Because <clears throat> that's my goal for this section of the of the area. I should be able to grab whatever amount of pick what I need. Anyway, with all that leaf growth, there's no way to tell who this is, but it doesn't matter. It's our job to rescue them. We don't want them finding their way back inside that cave. Let's keep the lid closed as a precaution. Indeed. Sounds like a good idea. Okay, I don't want... I don't know why you're suggesting these ones right now. I want all red, because I'm going to go ape shit on whatever enemies up here on this top area. I'm hoping it's something that's worth using red on, because red are my fighters. Let's get to it. Oh, wait, wait, first, but I got to send three of them doing that. That's fine. That works for me. All right, so I want to go up here, because I think there's going to be there's gonna be something. This is not going to be just walk in here and grab the shit. See what I mean? It's one of these guys. Ah! Get him! Kill him! Yes! Alright, everybody come back. Everybody come back. They murdered three of my dudes. Any more, y'all, or is it just the one? Hope it's just the one. Alright, so there's an edge there. That's fine. Alright. Y'all collect those. Alright, there's definitely a dig spot here. Let's get y'all digging. Meanwhile, I'm going to have the rest of y'all start working on that. Why were these individuals turned into leaflings? There must be a reason. Error. Error. We already know that reading their ID info doesn't work. For now, just bring them back with you. We know. We know. Oh, tennis ball. Can we collect it? Absolutely, we can. Y'all going too hard. We just need, I, I'm actually going to collect with exactly what we need. I don't want to go too... Uh, overham, overham, overboard. I want to get all these fucking dead things. Toothbrush. Oh, I don't have enough dudes for that. Hold on. Let me break open these eggs real quick. Whoa! I wasn't expecting that little bastard to pop out. Little punk bitch. All right. Oh, what the hell? Why is my dog sucking that up? Huh? Look at that red nectar. I wonder. Is that going to give us the superpower stuff? Yeah, the ultra spicy spray. Hell yeah. I believe this is that ultra spicy nectar that was mentioned in the voyage log. Keep that sample sealed up in a bottle so it won't spill in your pack. There's a decent amount of ultra spicy essence there. It should be useful. Absolutely it will. Alright. Um, well, I was going to have these guys help with the rest of this. I guess I will. Alright, so that's done. Let me get some Pikmin to carry that back real quick. I want I want that body. Remember, we have to get 300 more population added on top, so let's get that done. So how's the difficulty of this game so far? It seems to be quite a relaxed journey. I mean, it hasn't been as stressful as Pikmin 2. Pikmin 3 was pretty chill. It's about a, It's been pretty much on the same level as Pikmin 3, really, in terms of like just being... I won't say chill entirely, but, like, just stressful slash fun enough to where I'm not like, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God, you know? Because there's still a timer. The day the day timer does go by. You got to move. You got to move. You can't ignore the day. 
Gotta seize that shit. Alright, enough Pikmin to carry that back. But I will say, these games are super just charming and fun to play, overall. They may feel stressful because you gotta manage all this stuff, but I think the, the, the charm of the game shines through and overshadows what people might think is stressful or difficult about it. Alright. So the rest of those fools are carrying a big bird back. I forgot what enemy was over here. Was it an electric enemy? There was an enemy up here I wanted to deal with, right? Oh wait, there's a pile of stuff. I actually want this pile of stuff. Absolutely want this pile of stuff. I need this pile of stuff. I gotta have this pile of stuff. Alright, let me get them to collect that pile. There's actually another dungeon over here. I would love to do that. Oh, I did kill this guy already. I, still need, I need two more Pikmin to carry it, though. Alright, and I need a yellow dudes to go get that. Alright, here's what we're gonna do then. I'm gonna grab... So, what did I need? I needed some yellows. Is that all I really needed? I guess so. So I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have these reds carry back that body too. Just because, there is another freaking dude over here I wanna kill. But I'll worry about him, I'm gonna do this dungeon next is what I'm gonna do. So yeah, let me get these guys to carry this back. Hopefully 10 yellows is enough to get this Matryoshka doll head. Looks like it. Nothing else going on up here, which is good. Alright, well once those, those motherfuckers get back, we're going into the dungeon. We're going in. Alright, new treasure is collected. Alright, we're good. Secluded courtyard. In the natural world, there are many examples of strategic mimicry. Where one lulls their prey into perceive for safety, but I never thought I would witness it firsthand. I know, I now know danger can lurk in even the jiggliest of places. Okay, so we're going to have some, some mimicry going on, huh? Some fake shit that I'm going to get attacked by. That's going to be fun. But alright. Let's get to it. Recommended yellow and ice. Alright. Well, 50-50. 25 each. Let's go. Seems like all the ones where ice is recommended, there will be more ice Pikmin to pick up within the dungeon. So that'll be good. But even so, we'll bring, we'll bring the 50-50 squad. Getting ready for another mother effing dungeon. Dungeon. So far, the longest dungeon has been four floors. So I'm curious how how much more than that we're going to see throughout the game. We shall find out eventually. All right, I'm going to start this way because why not? What's over here? Fake egg. See what I mean? I was ready for it. I was ready for it. Bombed on his ass. That was like a fucking... He broke like an egg yolk, man. That was weird. Anyway, alright, you take that back. Next. Alright, that's the red nectar. I'm pretty sure I can suck that up. Alright, this is the spicy nectar I can suck up, I guess. No? Uh... Maybe not. I don't know. Um, yeah, that's cool. What's up with this thing? That seems real enough, right? Alright. All y'all need to start yoinking. Yoink like champions. Yoink like some champions. Did I not grab those? I guess not. Alright. Well, the good thing about being down here is I don't got to worry about, like, I don't got to worry about doing, like, the best Dandori, you know? Just do this how I do this. Give me that orange. Alright, 
Collect one of those. Oh god. Oh god! Collect that. <coughs> so there's some blue Pikmin down here, interestingly, interestingly enough. Which is cool. Kill it! There you go. Um, I guess I could freeze the water, but... It's weird that these tadpoles are, like, coming at me out of the water. So weird. Alright, well, we got some blue Pikmin. Um... I don't need to freeze that one, right? I don't think so. I think we're good. No reason to freeze that water. Alright, well... Let's head back up and around. I definitely saw... A blue thing. The good thing is, is we can swim across the water, which is nice. Um, what do I want to do? I want to do... Oh, God. Look at all these leaves. Hold on. All right. Oh shoot, I thought all the guys were dead. Apparently not. What's with all this red nectar? It's so weird. Alright. Anyway, let me get this. And then we will... I think be clear. I'm gonna grab these five Pikmin over here real quick though. Uh, disband everyone, please. So wait, can they carry it across the ice, or do I gotta I gotta freeze this? Hold on. All right, and that should be all I need to get these blue pigments. Right, let me yoink these blue pigments. And hopefully, this floor is clear. Oops. Keep printing left for a menu. All right, this floor is clear. And it looks like this one's going to have four floors noted. Can I really? What is the point of all this nectar if I can't suck it up or nothing? Weird, man. Unless it's just the nectar that makes my dudes into flower pigment, which everyone's already a flower, so it's like, what's the freaking point, right? Alright, well, anyway. Floor one done. Continue. Proceed. To sub-level two. I wonder if they don't expect most people to already have blue pigment at this point, and that's why they put blue pigment in this dungeon. Because it, it should have just recommended some blues, but whatever. It'll give you all the blues you need, I guess. Or maybe this is the first time they expect you to find blue Pikmin, but you won't have the onion to keep making more of them yet. Maybe that's what it is. But I am too good at the video game. There's already a castaway on the second floor of this place? I'm okay with this. Alright, well. Let's go find this castaway. Let's go find this Tom Hanks mother looking effa. Mother looking effa? Mother effa looking mother effa. Freeze him! Yes! Now bomb on him! Yes! Get wrecked, homie. What the? Oh! Oh, 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 I see, I see, I see. My bad. Is a water spout. Can I break this? I totally can. Let me break this. Sorry. I was like, what is happening? There's a water spout happening. That's what's happening. Jesus. Scared the shit out of me for a second. Apparently that that frog bitch was covering up a fountain of water, which we can destroy, thank God. Water Pikmin for the win. I did not mean to throw extra Pikmin there. That was an accident. Thank you. Good work, my children. You have... Done me proud. All right, we gotta use some yellows here. I'm assuming they're gonna go across and pick up that card over there. It looks like it might be a Hanafuda card. I'm just gonna let them do their thing. They'll they'll handle it. 
All right, there's a way that we can leave this floor. There's a big old ding ding bell. It's definitely got some motherfuckers underneath it. I see that shit. Oh, it's one of those guys. Okay, hold on. I know those guys. It's our first time seeing them in this game, but let's get rid of these fuckers. All right, freeze. There you go. Yeah, those fucking dudes can be dangerous. Yellow Pikmin for the win, but the freezing ones also are awesome, so. Hold on, let me do this. Boom! Now get that wall down, boy. Alright, dirt walls demolished. Y'all collect that stuff. Y'all collect all that stuff. Y'all a bunch of stuff collecting fools, and I love you. Oh, shit. Shit! I need to be careful. I can I can actually help them when they get shocked. I forgot about that. All right, we're good. We're good. Everything's cool. I didn't even. I think I lost a couple of Pikmin there, but I think we're okay. I'm okay with it. DJ coming back in from his lurk to say what's up to Garzonis. Oh shit! Everybody run! Everybody run! All right, we need yellow Pikmin. I, I got I got 18 of them on me. Never mind. We're good. Just use yellow for this guy. Nacho, why do you gotta get in my face, bro? Like, I get that you're adorable. And you know it. But come on, man. Not in my face. Get him, yellow Pikmin. Get him. Nacho, you gotta lay down, bro. You gotta lay down. Alright, everybody collect him. There's our, there's our homie that we're rescuing. We're good. All right, let me get this dude. Collect his dead ass. All right, Nacho, are you going to lay down, or do I got to boot you onto the floor, man? Because you are you don't sit the fuck still, and I can't, I can't, I can't. Okay, so this guy. If I freeze the water... Oh, shoot. I don't have enough to freeze it. Hold on. Let's go say hi to Milo. Milo's on the floor over there. Go say what's up to your buddy. What's his ID badge say? It's Petunia from Ogura, another research research task force person. Highly focused and intelligent. She joined the team to investigate mysterious creatures through her unconventional methods. She's going to be a fucking weirdo, isn't she? To investigate mysterious creatures? She must have come to study the Pikmin and other unusual wildlife here. Indeed. Alright, I'm going to come back over here to murder that dude. I just need more... Ice pick, but I'm gonna freeze that water and then murk that fool. Is this floor done technically? Technically it is, but I'm not gonna leave douchebag over here alive. Especially when there's materials to be had. Yes. Now get him. Bomb on his ass. Wow, if you freeze the water with an enemy in it, they get frozen in place. That's kind of awesome, actually. Also, Elliot, thank you for the lurk today. Hope you're doing well. I know you're probably not going to say anything because you're lurking, but I hope you're doing well. But yeah, make sure we collect all the materials. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you much. All right. I think other than that, we're good on this area. Another pile of materials. Um, which Pikmin are needing this still? The, the blue ones? Must be yellow ones. Yeah, okay. Just trying to let all my Pikmin who aren't flower Pikmin already become flower Pikmin. Anyway, right now you're grinding some vampire survivors. Nice. Um... It's good for you, man. The stream of lurkers today, it seems. I mean, that happens in mornings sometimes, guys. Honest people who got to work, man. I get it, or they got other things going on. I understand. I'm not gonna be mad at it. Lurking works for me when I'm. I'm pretty good about just talking to myself. I've done it for years, so I'm good. Anyway, you think you can unmute now? This isn't nearly as hypnotic as the Katamari games. Anyway, 
Uh, do I need any item clarification? Not yet. I will let you know if I do, DJ. I will let you know. It's mostly the fruits that I don't see. Usually when there's an item I see, I can usually identify what the hell it is. Or the game will kind of clarify what it is, in a way. But yeah. I've actually been interested in trying that Vampire Survivor game out. It seems like one of those mindless, like... I won't call it a clicker game, because it's not a clicker game. But it's one of those, like, it auto-plays itself. All you have to do is kind of move around, like, shmuppy style. I've been tempted to try a game like that eventually. They're not very expensive, so it wouldn't cost me very much money to try one out. Like, I think full price, that Vampire Survivor game is like five bucks. <laughs> it's one of those things I'll probably try out eventually. Alright. Yes, I know how to return a sub-level. Thank you, Shepard. So, fake egg? Oh, it's real. That one was real. It cost you nine bucks f for the, the game and all of its DLC. Yeah, exactly. My point. That game is cheap AF. That's a big egg. I'm thinking something's going to hatch out of that one. What do you guys think? Hatchy egg? Probably. Break this wall down first, though. Break the wall down like J Chris Jericho. Break the walls down. Breaking down the walls. Crack the egg. Get ready to bomb on whatever's inside. Wait, really? Just a bunch of nectar? Really? Oh, here we go. Get the big egg yolk. Get him. Bomb on him. Yeah, dude. Freezing Pikmin or Ice Pikmin, whatever you want to call them, they are the best. Did I watch Sting's last match against the Young Bucks? I did not. I have not watched much wrestling in a while. I do kind of keep up with it story-wise, like it, not not the storyline of the of the like the actual matches and stuff, but story-wise, like I see headlines and stuff. Um, so I'm aware that he just had his last match recently, um, but I did not watch it. No, I was not a huge Sting guy. Like I Sting was cool. I didn't. I'm not a Sting hater or anything like that. But uh, he wasn't necessarily my favorite dude. And did I hear Okada went to AEW? I don't know if I know who Okada is. I'm going to be real with you. Sounds like a Japanese dude. Not big on the New Japan pro wrestling and stuff like that either. Or even AEW. I'm not I'm not like up to date with who's all in AEW nowadays either. I know a lot of people have moved over there and gone back and forth. And things change all the time. But anyway, Okada is basically the biggest New Japan wrestler. All right. I've probably seen him. Like if I if I saw his face, I'd be like, "Oh yeah, that guy." All right. Getting all the things, and then we're going to head back over here. We got a Florlick. Wait, is that the one that lets me Is the Florlick the one that lets me have more Pikmin cuz that'd be great. Where am I with the wire? So we're actually watching season five right now. So we finished season four, which I thought was pretty damn good. Um, I still think I like season three a little bit better with the whole hamster damn thing. But season four was really, really good. You mainly stick to WWE? Yeah, same. Like, I, I can't, like when I was watching WWE regularly... I would keep an eye on other promotions, but I wouldn't watch any of them. But, yeah, WWE has pretty much been what I've watched since I was a kid. I watched WCW when it was at its peak back in the day, but I haven't watched it since. I mean, I haven't watched much else besides WWE. The most popular season uh, is season four. You actually like five, even though it's a lot of people's least favorite. I will say where season five starts, I'm not a huge fan. Um has not been my favorite so far but i were only two episodes in i do <laughs> i i do like where uh it left off where we left off on the episode we were watching i was kind of like oh shit mcnulty you crazy boy you crazy but it seemed like he's been at a breaking point for a while so i'm not really surprised by it
Anyway, this boy would be frozen. McNulty's arc is what makes season five. I could see that because right, right where it starts, like now where we see what he's doing, I'm like, damn. All right. I'm also like I said, I wasn't really surprised by it. I was just like, man. I, I was like, damn. It's about time one of these guys broke after all this bullshit, you know. Felt like too much character regression for you, DJ. That part of his character? That's the part you don't like? Or are you just saying in general for all characters? Because I guess I could see that for McNulty specifically. I also don't know how much more regression he may or may not do because I haven't, you know, we're only two episodes in. So I'll have a better opinion later. It's like, it's like when a drug addict has a relapse, DJ. Think of it that way. Because in a way, you know, being good police, as it were, is kind of like McNulty's drug, if you will. And yeah, I can, I, I pretty much had that thought about the show, too, where it's like, the thing about The Wire is, every time it seems like something good's about to happen, nothing changes. It's pretty much... A big theme of the show. So wait, am I done with this floor? Not done. I'm missing some. I haven't gone over here behind these bars. Okay, well I want these, first of all. First of all, I want this. Characters develop and people change. But you're not listening to what I said. It's like a drug addict who has a relapse. While you think that, that that's absolutely a realistic take on things. And I get for the sake of a show, you want to root for your characters to actually do have a change and have an arc that you can have like a nice redemption or whatever. Anyway, I guess my point is, I haven't watched the whole season yet. I don't want to argue about it yet. We'll argue about it when I'm done with the show. How about that? <laughs> that way we can talk about it a little more freely. I'm still not going to try to spoil much when we talk about it, just for people who haven't watched it who should or want to. But we can at least, I can at least have a full, full clear view of what we're talking about when I have watched the rest of it. All right, so I think I got everything on this floor. I think we're good. There's no real heroes. That's what makes it believable. I got gotcha. you. Alright, well anyway. Floor 3 is done. We got one more floor to go. I don't know if there's going to be another person to rescue down here. Since we saved somebody on floor 2. But we shall see. I'm kind of hoping one of these places is going to end with a boss fight. At some point. Like, if you were going to root for someone in real life, they would do a lot of stuff that you don't like, and you had to root for them in spite of it. No, I understand that, Sparty. Everyone has flaws. There's always going to be something you don't like about... Like, even if it's just one small thing you're not going to like about somebody. And yet they do a bunch of other stuff that you do like. Um, there's going to be a chance they still do something that you don't like. I was trying to have my damn... Dog help with this, damn it. Doggo, help! Help! Whatever, it's fine, we're good. This is definitely going to be a boss fight. I was just craving a boss fight. We're going to have one right now. Here we go. Yeah, exactly. I think McNulty's a perfect example of a character to like and not like for reasons. He does all this good stuff as a human being, but then he does all this bad stuff personally to, like, the people around him. Like being an alcoholic and a cheater. Exactly. Exactly. Alright, so this is going to be the fake-ass shit. Oh, hello. The fuck are you...
Yoink that shit. Hell yeah, dog. Get him. Freeze him. Murder him. Yes, we froze his ass. Yes. From rush his ass. Yeah. Get him, team. Oh, shit. We froze him again. He's still frozen. All right, everybody. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Everybody. 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 Oh, shit. Ah. Puppy, no. All right. I saved all the homies. Oh, my God. Come on, man. Yoink that fool. There we go. Are right, you ready to freeze him? Freeze him. Bum rush. Yup. Yes. Get him, children. Get him, my children. Get him, my children. Oh, man. Give me all my Pikmin back. Oh, shit. Kill it. That was pretty fucked up. All my Pikmin were frozen inside there. Got he. Woo, mama. That was... That was a fight. Being a cheater is a really a big deal deal breaker for you to, to cheer for someone. But what about all the other good stuff that he does, Smarty? Or, uh, DJ? So what? It's because he cheated on his wife, which I'm not saying is good. He Obviously, that's not a good thing. It never is. But because of that, you can't be happy for the other good stuff that he does like I don't I feel like that's like in that case exactly as part of said he should just shouldn't be in relationships anyway let's see that ID info who do we got oh you know who this is please tell me it's the doctor a doctor, yes, who lives for the discovering and solving unusual cases. He jumps at every chance to test his experimental medicines. Hopefully, we can fix all these moss people now. It's Yanni, Yanni Janssen. Let's go. All right, we found another rescue officer. Yanni is a talented doctor with a wealth of knowledge. With his skills, he can treat any injuries or illnesses that come our way. I'll bet he can even do something about the leafling castaways. That means our pilot is the only one of us still missing. Please continue our search. I mean, the search never ends, y'all. But we do got the doctor. Hell yeah. Finally found another one of our rescue corps people. You rescued our doctor, Yanni. Yanni, let's ask him to examine a leafling when he wakes up. Our pilot, Bernard, might be one, might be one after all. That's true. That's true. We've saved like four leafling people. We don't know what's inside them yet. Okay, so this is the red stuff. Yeah, yeah, give me all of that. Absolutely. Okay, so once we collect this creepy mask that I didn't even acknowledge when I saw it, because it's creepy as hell. Jesus Christ, it's creepy. I think we'll be done here. We are done here. Sweet. If he happens to realize that he's better off staying single, that'd be great character development. I mean, maybe by the end of the show he does, but I guess he doesn't based on your re uh, re reaction there. Anyway, man, it's fine if you don't like McNulty, DJ. I'm not even trying to argue for him like you should like him. There's some, for some, like, like Sparty was saying, not everyone is going to do everything that you like. And if you can't, if something's a deal breaker for you, then it's a deal breaker for you. There are people in the show who also don't like McNulty for his ways, period, right? So just how it goes but all right we finished another dungeon we got yanni Janssen, the doctor so here we go it was disappointing because up until that point you liked him and it was a good arc i got you i got you well people disappoint you in life and i will say that <clears throat> all right anyway we got two pup drives i guess every person we save gives us a pup drive so sweet two more for me 
As for our treasures, we haven't really looked at them yet in this day because, well, we haven't finished the day yet, but we did finish a dungeon, so let's recap what we picked up in this dungeon. We got some decorative goo, which was some blue paint. We've already had some decorative goo, but different color. Citrus lump, that's an orange, or something like an orange at least. Universal rubber cutie, that's a dub, dub, a dub rucky. We got a time marker, which is just a ding 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 bell time. Uh, Talisman of life, cherry blossom, Hanafuda card. Disguise delicacy, that's a half of a kiwi. Uh, I think that's a golden kiwi, blonde imposter. It's the same thing, but a different type. A stringent clump, I forget what fruit these are. I want to say it's a uh, grapefruit, but I could be wrong. And then Expression Hider, the terrifying demon mask. It's not a demon mask, but it might as well be with that mouth. Jesus. Creepy ass. Alright, well anyway. Cool beans, we did it. Another dungeon complete. Hell yeah. We only lost one Pikmin that whole time. I'm proud of that. It was a grapefruit for sure, sure. Thank you for confirming. Grapefruit confirmed. All right, so we've knocked out two little dungeon -y areas, and we got the doctor. That's the biggest thing. Oh, yeah, right. We got an onion. Is that the one that increases my amount of Pikmin? Because that'd be dope. Can we hold 70 now? Or, no, it would be 60. I'm at 50 right now. But, yeah, that is it. Ten more Pikmin for me. Yay. Um. Yeah, I'll go with that. All right, cool. Did it say 50% of the treasures in this area? Or 50% of this area complete? Is that what it said? I think that's what it said. Or maybe. Alright, anyway. Um. Okay. I want to go... There's an enemy down here, but I don't care about him as much. Uh. I don't really know where I want to go next yet. Did that one. Oh, right. I, ne I need to go get that cantaloupe. I should go get that cantaloupe, like, right now. Cantaloupe should be a priority. Let's go get the cantaloupe. Let's see, I think the fastest way to get up there will be this way. Cross the bridge. I want to get that wall there. That ice wall. So we're going to send uh, the other 50. It's going to take 50. Oh, wait. You know what? I could have my doggo handle this. Oh, crap. I need 50 blue. Shit. Well, fuck my life. Well, 40 blue plus... <laughs> 40 blue plus my dog would be fine. Get him! Got him. Alright, I'll carry that bitch ass back. Go ahead. Oh, shit. Let me get this. Honestly forgot that was there. Alright, in the meantime... Let me go get more blue, I guess, because, oops, I forgot I needed blue. I don't know if this is the fastest way to go back, but I guess it's decent. Get that. I'm going to get this. Collect these real quick, too. Collect all the material. I'm actually going to store all the ice fools and bring out all the blue fools. Yeah, 
It works for me, dog. <clears throat> Should be a bunch of blue ones over here. They uncovered that thing. Clay valve complete. Yeah, see, I don't know what that is. What's a clay valve? Whatever they just rebuilt, they did a thing. And I, oh, maybe it turns off the water? Oh, that'd be epic if it did. Hey, it turned off the water. All right. Beautiful. Good work. You stopped the water. Good. I needed that water to stop. That's awesome, actually. I'm really happy I did that accidentally. Because that works. Also, I did not have enough blue to collect this. Good thing I have enough Pikmin on me now. Damn, really? Alright, well. Start collecting, fools. Alright, y'all gonna start carrying that back. They may or may not make it. I'll make sure I grab them if I run out of time. But I don't think I have any Pikmin strays other than them. Sorry, right, as long as I get it close, we'll get it on the next day. Also, there's totally a fucking base here. I'm an idiot. Hold on. Why am I doing this to myself when there's a fucking base here? Idiot. We'll come back to this. We'll come back to this. We'll come back to this. I didn't realize there was a base there. Damn. Okay. That's fine. I, f I, I shouldn't say I didn't realize. I forgot. Because I did see it when I came through last session. But I totally forgot about it. It's okay. We'll start with this next time. And then I'll continue to explore. It's not like I thought I was going to finish this whole area in this day. Skip this. We didn't leave anybody behind. We're good. We're Gucci, man. We're Gucci. Day nine was an overall success. We got Dr. Yanni. Yanni Janssen. Woot. And I just realized I don't even have my fucking headphones unplugged. I know nobody did anything subwise or notification wise so far, but if they did, I wouldn't have heard it. All right. Well, anyway, we rescued Petunia, we rescued Yanni, and we rescued another Moss Face. So pretty good day overall, I would say. We finished another collection. Sweet. We got the Recre Recreation Recollection Series, which is a baseball, a golf ball, a tennis ball, and the the grip trainer. So that's cool. All right, let's double check with the, uh, the rest of our treasures we got on this day, besides the ones we got from the dungeon. We also picked up Cupid's Grenade. We picked up three cherries. We also got the Sphere's Fuzz Fuzzy Feelings, which is the tennis ball. Um, we finished that series, so that was good. Brush of Wisdom, which is a toothbrush. And the Daughter Dollhead, which is the head of the Matryoshka. And the rest of these we already covered after finishing the dungeon. So, cool beans. We're over 6,000 Sparklium now. I forget what our next threshold for the next area was, but... Damn, we collected up to... We have 201 raw material now. Nice. I'm definitely going to buy some upgrades from the scientist demand now. Yanni's back, Captain. Seems like we're making progress. Well done, Funky G. So where is he then? We need to discuss the leafling situation as soon as possible. Um, the thing is, after the forced sleep mode was lifted, he kind of went right back to sleep. I think he'd been examining a plant that only appears at night, so he was pretty sleep deprived. Seriously? He was out walking around at night? Here? It's ridiculously dangerous. Suppose I should be grateful that he's still alive. Huh? That's strange. I put a bottle right here. Where did it? Dingo! You didn't drink that liquid that was sitting right here, did you? Did you? Hey, don't shut at me like that. But yeah, I was thirsty and it was right there, so I gave it a try. Who cares? Well, that was the medicinal ingredient that Yanni was using in his experiments. And you never thought to mention that till now? Uh, 
What was something feel very hot? Are you alright? Maybe you should go lie down too, Dingo. I guess we put this meeting on hold for the time being. Alright, well, hopefully you're not all going to die from getting poisoned. Anyway, we grew 76 more Pikmin on this day, so that's good. Uh, we got some more treasures on this day, that was good. We're up to 64. We actually get quite a bit from the dungeons and stuff, so that's cool. Um, nine more new creatures. Got to finish an area. We're, all, we're almost halfway on the, the Pikmin flowers, so that's cool. Um, oh, we have to buy everything from the lab. We will eventually. And learning all the skills. We'll do that eventually as well. I'm thinking I'm probably going to 100% this game. Just because Pikmin is more fun when you're trying to get all the things. Leaving anything behind just feels unsatisfying. So screw that. We're getting all the things, baby. All of it. 